Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Sam. This is a reading for Libra. There are no dates on my reading, so whenever the message finds you, if it resonates with you, then it's your message at that time. Um, so beginning your reading today, Libra, the two opening energies are the Emperor and the Hierophant. Um, and right away, I got this sense of a couple, of course, but a couple that are both... Um, very independent, very stable, um, very high ranking in a sense, like uh, successful in life, strong foundation. Um, and I got the sense that this, um, the strong foundation that each of you have has been created separately from each other. This, and the reason that I say that is because the next two cards out, the Ace of Air and the Two of Water, tell me that this connection between the Emperor and the Hierophant is um, a new thing coming into your life. I believe that this energy here is you, Libra, the Hierophant. Like I said, strong foundation, very centered, um, successful. Uh, you have everything you need. And then this energy enters your life. This is a very quick moving um, change agent. I think of this card as like the tower, but in a very positive way, a very positive life altering energy coming into your life. Um, uh, the Ace of Air being um, like a, a synchronistic, faded, destined, event coming into your life that changes everything but in a really really good way um and with the two of water with it i'm i'm thinking that this new thing coming in is this relationship with this emperor so uh you know at first glance it looks like a very um a very long-standing rooted very deeply rooted solid stable relationship but with this energy coming after it i think that it's saying that you you you're individually those things very stable and uh, rooted, grounded, established, strong foundation, and then and now you're just coming together now. Um, and the next card out, the Ten of Earth, I believe this is you. It's like you. Um, this has this whole feel of like hearth and home. It's like you're you have built up your empire in a sense. Like you have everything that you need. Like I said, a strong foundation, but in this card, you're very independent. You're you're on your own. And um, the interesting thing that I noticed about it today was, you know, the ears perked up in this uh, wolf or dog um, on alert. It's almost like, um, you know, and with this going back to this hair fan energy, it's like um, you've just been really focused on um, either your work or, you know, your craft, um, really focused on creating this strong foundation and almost like this feeling of hyper vigilance about, um, not letting anybody disturb your process. It's like, um, you know, with this figure here, it's like, she's striking this pose. She's very focused on holding her, um, utmost, like, like very skilled, very precise, masterful um, creation and just really focused on holding that energy and creating a, a like almost like an impener impenetrable um, space, like a fortress in a sense, um, especially with this with this character here, like a watchdog. It's like. Um, You know, perhaps there's been things in your past that have have caused you to be very protective of your like earthly possessions. You know, this has a lot of pentacles in it, um, very work focused and home, you know, creating a, a, a nourishing and stable and strong home. But, um, you know, if this this almost looks like a like a. A doorway it's like guarding the doorway you're you're very selective and protective about who you've let through that doorway into your life for some reason you've been you've been um, on guard 
something has set you on guard. Or, you know, perhaps in the past, it's like you've come from some relationships in the past that may have distracted you from um, really focusing on stability, like creating your own independence and stability, self-sufficiency. I get the sense now that you're, you know, you're very grounded and rooted in your own self-sufficiency um, to the point where, you know, you're, you, it, it's like a defining characteristic of who you are at this point. You're like, um, I, you know, I'm this very strong, self-sufficient, stable, established individual, uh, you know, and you're very proud of that. And you should be because you've worked very, very hard is the sense that I get. Um, but what's interesting with this emperor coming in is he's got the same kind of energy. He's also very stable and has put a lot of work into his self-sufficiency. Um, but what's what's fun here with the two of earth and the king of water, I started to get the sense that this emperor that's coming in is um, is actually very playful. And I think through his playfulness, he's going to kind of um, break down your defenses and and get through to you in a way that um, you haven't maybe been allowing people to, to reach you. Um, it could just be that you've just been really focused on your work. It may not be that you're purposely um, isolating yourself. It could just be that you're just, you, you've been really work focused because you're, you're driven and you're on your path and you, and it's just taking up a lot of your time. But this character coming in, um, it's like with this hair fan, like I said, it's like, it's like, um, striking this pose, like being in a, being in like a yoga pose and holding that pose takes effort and focus. Um, and you've been holding it for a very long time, like here that she's holding this pose. And so that takes effort and focus, but this guy coming in with his playful energy, it's like, he's tossing something into the mix here. You know, if he if he tosses a fish in your direction, what's going to happen is you're going to have to let go of of these pentacles that you're holding. You're holding these pentacles, and if he throws something at you, you will be forced to let go and focus on what he's bringing into your environment. If that makes sense, so it's like he's come along and he's um, shaking you out of this intense focus that you've had for a while. Um, and like I said, the emperor can also have a very intense focus, but the sense that I'm getting with this king of water is that he's, he has the ability to be, um, you know, hyper-focused on his work and, and, you know, very high up in his professional career. He's worked a long way. He's the emperor. He's at the top of the chain, but he still has this really playful, relaxed energy about him. And cause I noticed this too, this is a little bit silly, but, um, if you notice on his sword here, there's these two. If you've ever been to Disney World, there's um, what they call hidden Mickeys all over Disney World. And I've, I noticed there's like these two hidden Mickeys on his sword. See those two shapes there? And it made me chuckle when I saw it. And then I was looking at his lion's head and thinking like he's a he's a playful character. It's like he's he's, um, you know, dressed up and playful and. He's got his hidden Mickeys. And so although he's the emperor and he's very serious, he's also got a very playful, humorous side about him. Um, and then with the, the next card out, the six love card, I think the effect that he's having on you very quickly is that you are, um, you're going to soften up completely. You're going to let your guard down, finally be able to break that, um, you know, rigid pose that you've been holding for so long and just relax. You know, you're going from this, this intense energy to this, you know, really dreamy, you know, you're able to let your guard down enough to be able to just actually like fall asleep where, you know, maybe you've always had like one eye open in a sense. Um, you know, and your, and your watchdog here, hyper alert watchdog is now, you know, you're snuggled up together. You're both, you're both relaxed. It's like your dog really likes him. So, you know, and animals know, animals have a really good sense of people. So, <clears throat> um, in the eight of earth card, this is what I'm talking about. This seems like a very, this whole reading seems very focused on your professional life, your creativity, a creative project. 
Um, and, and I always think of like refinement and utmost skill and mastery when I see this card, you know, like an, like an orchestra. Um, but you see, this is him here. He's like adding this really playful element to your process that, um, I think, you know, with the final card here, the messenger of fire, it's like, it's really, it's really going to warm you up and light you up and just let your guard down. You're finally able to, to you know both cards the arms are like this or like this it's like this this stance that you've been holding this protective or rigid or just really focused stance a vibrational stance that you've held and he's allowing you to finally just relax put your arms down <clears throat> and he's just lighting you up like look at the, you know fire is passion and i think he, and look how much softer the energy is here between the hierophant and this you know, really crisp, sharp angles. And, you know, here she's just, she's so soft and, and just, you know, melting in a sense, just completely um, illuminated and, you know, kind of being, um, being completely in, like uh, surrounded by his warmth and humor and, um, you know, just, a really really lovely energy coming in for you so I think I think that um I think this emperor coming in I think he's he's also that's the other thing is he's also a very good match for you part of the reason perhaps why you've been hyper vigilant about letting people into your space is because you're very established and self-sufficient and um you know you want somebody that matches that and this person does he absolutely matches you know, he's, he has money as well. He's, he has a, a, an established career. He's a professional. He's mature. You know, he's got his crap together. He, he knows what he's doing. So he's a, he's an excellent match for you. And so perhaps that's, perhaps that's what you've been, um, you know, protective about is just letting, you don't want somebody to come in, um, just because of your, uh, strong foundation and stability like you don't you don't want somebody coming in you know just because you're you're so stable and and established you want them to you want to meet them on equal playing field you don't want to have to um, provide I mean not that you're not you know open and sharing and loving but I think maybe in the past you've you've met people that um, were perhaps taking advantage of the height that you've that you've reached in your professional life, um, you know, wanted a little bit of what you have. Maybe it wasn't an equal exchange in the past, but this is absolutely equal. I mean, the six card is very harmonious, balanced energy. So, um, so Libra, that I'm going to leave this part of the reading here. But what I'm going to start doing now, um, a new thing on my channel, if this resonates with you at all, if you feel like this, like I've connected with your energy and you feel like you, you see yourself in this, that we've connected, um, I'm going to continue to unfold this in an extended um, reading that I'm going to provide the link below and you can catch it over on Vimeo. So um, if you feel like you wanted to dive deeper into this story with me, um, jump over onto Vimeo and I'll see you there. Otherwise, I'll catch you next time, Libra. Thanks. Bye.